Hello, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Nana. Today, I'm going to make an enchilada pie. So let's get into it. Thank you for coming. So I'm, I got some green onions right here. I'm just gonna get these chopped up because this is gonna be in the um, enchilada pie. Mix it with my ham. I'm saving half for the hamburger meat and then half for when I actually make the pie. So these are green onions. I do green onions and white onions, so I got my skillet kind of hot. Get it together. Some green onions get those to cooking. So I use green onions and white onions for my enchilada pie. Sometimes I cut them big, sometimes I cut them small. It depends on how you like it. Okay, I'm going to save this part right here for when I actually um, incorporate it inside my, my pie. Here you go. Thank you. Um, I'm going to sprinkle a little olive oil on the skillet. I love cooking with olive oil. It's the best. It's good for you, too. So I'm just trying to sear these these onions a little bit. How you guys doing today? Hope everybody's well, happy, blessed. Thank God he woke us up today, right? Ain't he good? So let me cut this up just a little bit. I'm getting these incorporated. Okay, so now I'm about to place my hamburger meat. This is ground hamburger. You can use ground turkey or you can use ground chicken for the enchilada pie, whichever your choice is. And so you just smash that up in there. This is an enchilada pie. I used to make these all the time back home. And I haven't made none in a while. But I just had a taste for it today, so this is what I'm, I'm cooking today. And my kids and grandkids love it. I love it. You know, cooking is supposed to be fun, right? Fun, happy, tasting, and loving on your family. I love cooking for my family. So this is, I'm putting a little seasoning salt in here. A little seasoning salt, a little bit of accent. And I need some ground pepper. So ground pepper. Bring a little bit of ground pepper in there. I'm going to try to skill it up a little bit more because I want this meat to start getting brown. So once your meat get brown, you take your meat off the stove and you drain and try to drain as, much, drain as much grease off as possible. And then you start preparing to layer your pie. For your enchilada pie, you just layer it like you do a lasagna. So I'll be back in a minute, guys. Let's get this to cooking. Hello, okay, I'm back. So now I'm going to cook some corn, corn tortillas, tortillas. I'm just going to uh, like warm them up a bit. Let the skillet get hot. I already finished cooking my ground turkey. Finished my ground turkey. 
So I'm covering that up. So I'm about to cook the corn tortillas. And I use olive oil. Put a little olive oil in the pan. You know, twirl it around just a bit. So, what I want to do is get these tortillas not brown, but I just want them to like, because they're kind of, you know, when you get, when you have them in the refrigerator, they're kind of like a little hard. So, when you warm up on the stove and you get that little bubble in the top, that's when you flip it. We want them soft so when we get ready to cook them in the oven, it's just easier to lay down in the pan. So I'm going to cook about, probably, I might cook about 10 of these. These are the corn tortillas. And you place them on a paper towel to, to drain, soak up some of the oil. So we're going to keep on layering these. Hope everyone doing good tonight. You see how those little bubbles are coming through the tortilla? So once it start doing that, see that bubble? Those bubbles right there? Then you flip it over. And you just keep on doing this. I'm just going to cook about 10 of them. So while that's going, over here... I have some tomato sauce and I'm going to put a pack of enchilada mix in it, pack of enchilada mix to mix with the sauce. This is going to be our base for our, our um, enchiladas. This is the enchilada mix. Be careful so you don't bump again. I was just So I'll be back once I get these tortillas done, and we'll show you the next step. Okay, so Nevaeh is going to start layering the um, shells down. Here, start with the big ones. And just flip it over. So we're, we're layering it just like you do a lasagna. Kind of wipe some of it off. And do you need another spoon to spread? No. No? Okay. I want you to make it look nice, you know, spread it nicely. Is that enough shells? Do we need more? You just want like one, one first layer of the tortilla shells. So you dip your tortilla shells into the sauce. And the sauce, which I explained earlier, was two cans of tomato sauce and a package of enchilada mix. And then, you know, you can add like garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, maybe a little bit of salt. I think that's enough layers, isn't it? So we can, um. One more. <laughs> so we're going to start layering our enchilada pie. We're going to add a little cheese. All over. Um, you need some pie shells in that corner over there. So you might want to put another shell because you got to make sure that you get the corners for the enchilada pie. To cover up all corners. Okay, here, add a little more cheese. Oh, that all, is that all the corners? Don't use them all. We got to save some for the next layer. So she's adding her cheese. Okay. Okay. Then... Add some hamburger meat. Here you go. And sometimes in front of other people, so we can scrape it up. Try to be careful that you don't waste any. <laughs> Get the hamburger meat all over. You go and look. That's ground you hamburger know, meat. You know, you see, I'd be like, I, no, I'll put green onions in the really hamburger really meat. I'll some put, of course, my powder. onion powder, garlic powder, and um, yeah, black pepper. And oh, just spread that around. Yes. Just spread that around. Oh, that's that's my daughter Kina talking in the background. Okay, that's enough hamburger meat. Okay, put a few um onions on it. Spread them around. So you just layer like you do an enchilada pie. 
Okay, so now um, drop a little couple drops of this on top of the meat. The cup, just spread the sauce on top of the meat. Just like kind of drizzle. Just you could go fast. You don't have to go slow. Yeah, just like that in various spots. Okay, that's enough. Now start layering the meat again. I mean, start layering the tortillas. I'm sorry. Remember to get all the way to the top of the corners. We have the small tortillas and the large tortillas because I actually have ran out of shells. So use a different one. That one's just a little bit too flimsy. You can put that one down. We can save it for last, I guess. You want the ugly ones to be on the bottom. Well, we're not going to call this ugly because we're going to eat this food. We're not going to say the ugly ones. <laughs> okay, come on, continue. Continue. So, you feel like being silly tonight, huh? Okay. I get it. Okay, so now here, I want you to put cheese on top of that. Hold on. Lay it down flat. Okay. And put a little, don't use all the cheese because we still need more cheese because we got another layer. So we just layering it like you do a lasagna. This is called an enchilada pie. Nana's enchilada pie. Okay, you want to add some hamburger meat. No, 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 some green onions. I'm sorry. A few more green onions. So when you do your green onions, you chop green onions and regular onions and you use some of your green onions in your hamburger meat and then you save half to layer inside the enchilada pie. And just spread that out throughout. How much hamburger meat is left? Is it enough just to put all of it in there? Mm -hmm. We're just going to have a, a two-layer enchilada pie. That's good enough. And um, also, I forgot something. Okay, stop. Um, get those black olives from over there. Sorry, guys. I almost forgot something. Um... Black olives, spread some black olives on top and get some in the corners. We use black olives also. And you're actually supposed to use it when you're layering, but I forgot they were over there on the table. I had already talked, you know, I got them in a can. They were already sliced. Keep that over here because we're going to need it again. Okay, so now you want to add, here, add the rest of these onions. Look good already. Here, add a few more olives. You, it's your choice if you want, want to use black olives or not, but black olives just like really give it that good taste to me. But you don't have to use black olives, just add a few. Okay, so we're gonna add some more cheese. Just a little bit, because we're gonna have to save some for the top layer. Do I, do I have enough tortilla shells or do I need to make more? Have enough. I hope I have enough. Okay, now add the tortillas. So you did you add sauce on both sides of your tortilla shell. So when you do your tortilla shells, you want to try to cook the least between 10 to 15 shells. It depends on how big your pan is. So we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about um, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, let's spread them across. Okay, now we're going to top, top the um, top layer off with cheese. And then it's ready to pop, be popped in the oven. So this is a blend it, of get it in the corners and kind of spread that you know here use a fork or something don't use your hand just kind of you know spread it here you go thank you okie dokie looks good 
spread that all over. Don't have it close together. And in the oven it goes. I'm gonna let the oven down for uh -uh. Open for me, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, come on. Welcome back to Cooking with Nana. So now our enchilada pie is done. So I'm about to plate some and we're gonna see how it tastes. Looking good. Some sour cream on there. See the inside. It's our enchilada pie. Okay, what I do is have a fork. Top it with some sour cream. Let's see how it tastes. You can use hot sauce too if you like hot sauce. Mmm. Wait, you wanna slap your mama? Thank you for joining Cookie with Nana. I hope you like the enchilada pie recipe. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and push the like button. Thank you. Good night.